Okay, here is the replacement cabinet. I put a note on here long ago that the pivot should be 13 and a half inches. What probably happened is I probably discovered there was a flaw in the cabinet plans and I made sure I noted it. So when I went to grab this cabinet to do this game, I didn't just take for granted that everything was in the right spot. So this should be 13 and a half from the bottom and it is 13 and almost three quarters. So it's about three sixteenths of an inch off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug these with dowels that need to be very tight. I'll put some wood glue on there. I'll really drive some, some large dowels in there and I'll let it set and then I will sand that down. I'll re-drill it and I'll drill it in the proper spot and I think we should be good. And uh, let me go ahead and do that first. You just can't take anything for granted when you're dealing with uh, these replacement cabinets. I've had them from everybody. Nobody makes one that's perfect. Okay, I got the holes filled, the previous holes, dowels, I mean mostly filled with dowels, it's the smallest hint of filler in there, very little to none. Got it written down where these should be, this should be up 13 and a half and from the rear 9, 19 and 5 sixteenths and this one should be up 12 and 7 eighths and from the rear it should be 23 and a quarter. And then I have this just to make sure that sometimes measurements don't always come just right so I find it a lot easier to use this as a template. Um, the most important hole is going to be this rear hole. That's where the play field actually sits and pivots on and this other hole is for the other pin that acts as more of like a knockdown uh, to unlock the lever when the play field is erected into the upright position so not as crucial but we want to get it right. Three-eighths of an inch hole time out of paranoia but I don't want to get it wrong definitely 19 and 5 16 13 up and I'll do the other side the same way. There's our lower. It's ready to prime. Uh, all the corrections have been made. Real nice piece of wood on this. I mean, the uh, corners are nice and tight. It's a nice piece of wood. Sometimes you can tell they're, they're not getting the nicest piece of wood. It's probably not their own fault, but whatever. But this one was nice. Just couple minor things, mostly the pivot correction, which is pretty seamless. You can't tell that's even done. And just a little bit of work around some of the seams. So this 
is ready to go. We can prime this and refinish it. But now we got to focus on the head. The head right here. I preemptively wiped a little filler here and there, not so neatly. And the reason for that is a lot of times what will happen is I'm, I'm fixing other cabinets and these cabinets uh, or these heads are just kind of sitting around like you can see in the background and I'll kind of walk over to whatever I can reach and take some of that extra filler I have and wipe it on there before it, it's, you know, not good anymore, it hardens. So as a result of that, sometimes you'll see a little bit of sloppy looking patchwork at first, but you know, it's really just a matter of getting out ahead of what will need to be done to this when I'm ready and not wasting materials that I'm using on other things at that time. So that's what's going on with that. On this one, we're gonna have Let's see, we got nail holes to fill. We need to drill it for the lamp panel um, brackets. More nail holes, seams to clean up. Some voids in the ply. And we always have this rough, this rough fuzzy cut. And of course, more of those voids more nail holes, some saw blade marks. I've adjusted the chocks. That's why you'll see a screw at the top of them. I just tap them down a little bit. I like to do that because even if they measure out right, it's better for them to be a little bit further back because if you wind up having to use aftermarket glass channels or a CPR back glass, it's not gonna fit as nicely as the original. It's gonna usually be a little bit tighter and so for that reason, I like to make sure I've got some real estate there. And, and if it were to fit on a little bit on the looser side, I can just put some target foam here to, to stiffen it up. But you much rather have these parts fit a little bit loose than too tight. start in the mixing process. A new can of Bondo can be maybe uh, kind of hard to stir even. that got mixed up look at that that is if you know what you're looking at that's good all right let's see
that drive for a few minutes. Probably wondering what was that noise? Well, that noise is a mixing machine. It's on a timer, it cuts on every so many minutes. It just stirs paint, that's really all it does. Alright, clean up my spreader here. I could just wipe this off with a little bit of Take this right here, I'll just wipe it off with some acetone in a second, and it'll uh, be good as new, and I can continue to reuse it. I mean, i got boxes full of them, but there's no need to waste it. And it's good as new. Use it again. Same thing with the stick. Because you can burn through a whole lot of sticks and spreaders if you don't just clean them up and reuse them. that are needed for the lamp panel. I got a template for that. small areas right here. 
We're gonna sand across the whole head and it'll be ready to prime. All right, this thing's ready to start refinishing. I'm gonna start out with sealer. Uh, primer and sealer that I use are the same. They just mix in different ratios or different additives. So I'm gonna mix it as a sealer because I feel like this is a really smooth cabinet. It's not very grainy. I got all the work perfected. I should be able to seal it, then base it, and then clear it. Um, but once I spray that sealer, if I feel like yeah, it's gonna be too grainy or it's not gonna go as well as I would like, then I will mix it as a primer and then spray it right over top of the sealer that I applied and let it set and then I'll come back and sand it and um, base it, then clear it. But we'll see how it goes. But I'm pretty confident this is a real nice, solid, smooth cabinet. We should be good with sealer. All right, let me get suited up, we'll get that done. sealed and primed. Basically what I did was I sealed the cabinet and then I sprayed a single coat of primer on the back of the head because that MDF, it just has a tendency to, I'll try to show you, but you can probably pick it up. It has a tendency to get this little fuzziness to it. And uh, what that is, is the MDF wicking in the materials. And uh, as a result of that, I'll need to sand the back of the head. So I'll let it set for probably like an hour or so, then I'll sand the back of the head and I'll spray the cabinet and we should be good to go. straight uh, let's see so I guess the next thing will be probably getting the play field ready and once we get the play field ready we'll clear that and then we'll start tuning the game out 